Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll be showing you guys how I make these cute keychains that are shown in the thumbnail. So if you'd like to see the end results then stay tuned. So one of the first things that I do before I do anything else is I sanitize and clean everything that I'm going to use to make the lip gloss. I do this because even though the things that I received in the mail come pre-packaged, I don't know what happened to them before they was packaged. So I wash them and rinse them off and let them air dry and you guys will see that entire process for this video. So if you guys end up shopping and buying anything from my shop, which I will insert the link around here. Then you guys will know that I have sanitized and taken all the necessary precautions to make sure that these lip glosses will not be contaminated. I'm even wearing a mask in the video, so safety is first. While the lip gloss containers are air drying along with the pipettes, I believe that's what they're called, I started on the resin. So this is my very first time, my very, 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 very first time using resin and I made sure to research all of the safety precautions because I did not want to get the Rona of the lungs in terms of the resin poisoning. So you guys don't see it, but I have on a full respirator mask and I have on chemical resistant gloves. So I really went above and beyond to make sure that I didn't poison myself while making this resin. I was inside while I did this, but I had two fans going at the time. And I also had my sliding door open and the mesh door pulled in to keep the mosquitoes out. Because you know, it, the mosquitoes going to be out in the summer. But anyway, I took the proper safety precautions and I made sure I was in a well-ventilated area. So if it's your first time using resin and you want to see how to do it, make sure one, you have one protection on your eyes make sure you have a respirator a mask really isn't enough because of the fumes and if you're going to wear gloves make sure they're at least cotton lined on the inside or chemically resistant and that's just in case any of the resin gets on the glove it won't seep through and get on your skin or anything like that um as for cleanup if like the resin spills you could wipe it off with a certain type of alcohol i don't really know for sure but for sure, for sure, acetone will remove the resin. So if you get it on like your table or anything like that, you can just take acetone, put it on a paper towel, and then wipe that resin off. But make sure that you throw that paper towel away so you don't accidentally pick it up and get it on your skin. Okay, so yeah.
after 24 hours, I popped this bad boy out. And I know uh, from what I researched, it says to wait until it's fairly fully cured. But I'm impatient and I only decided to do this on one. So that way if it messed up, at least I didn't mess up the other letters. Because like I said, this is my first time. And um, I bought a hand drill from Amazon because that's what YouTube told me to do. And I drilled a hole in it and I screwed in those thingies that have a screw on the bottom and there's a loop on the top and then I installed a keychain and then I turned the P into a keychain P for my niece so that's how I did that and I struggled miserably trying to figure out how to use this hand drill and I edited that out so y'all wouldn't laugh at me but yeah you're it's gonna take like some maneuvering until you figure out how exactly to place your hand so you can screw it in but eventually I got it Now in terms of lip gloss, okay, so I did a lot of research before I did this because I wanted to make sure I was using the right ingredients, I wanted to make sure it would be hypoallergenic, it wouldn't cause that many reactions, so I kept my lip gloss very simple. Versagel base, oil, and lip flavoring. And even the charms, if you saw at the beginning of the video, I washed the charms and then dry them and then put them back in their container because like I said before you don't know where these things are before they come to you so I make sure to disinfect as much as I can before I put it into the actual lip gloss so um, from what I've seen on YouTube videos it's better to measure the Versagel by weight than it is by volume so I did calculations and I'm still testing things out, so I'm not going to give you guys an exact measurement yet, but my next lip gloss video will have measurements in it. Like I said, this is my first time doing this, um, but I did make sure everything that was in the lip gloss is hypoallergenic and natural and vegan. So if you go on my website and you look at the lip gloss ingredients, you'll see every single ingredient and you'll be able to research it for yourself. But all of those things are commonly found in cosmetics and they are animal cruelty free because I don't test on animals and they are vegan so yeah I hope you guys like what you see and um it was definitely a struggle for me to um get used to how thick and sticky the Versagel could be if you didn't mix it well enough so you guys are gonna watch me struggle with this for a second before I get it but I've done more since then and I've gotten a lot better so the next lip gloss YouTube video will be a lot better than this
I sped things up a lot just to make things short and sweet, but if you like a more detailed video, make sure you leave a comment down below so I can hook you up and tell you what I know. We can learn together. Hello. But um, yeah, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will leave pictures of the finished results up here somewhere. I don't know. Editing me, we put this together. And um, if you like what you see today, please be sure to shout your girl out if you'd like to buy one. I have both an Etsy listing and a listing on my website, so I'll be posting both of them down below in the description. It'll be supporting me as an artist and helping me to make videos like these, so if you like to support, I'd greatly appreciate it. If not, that's fine too. Um, stay safe and Black Lives Matter.